Hi everybody, welcome back to another Strat Talk. Today I'm going to be going over an A split uh, on Mirage T side. This would be a gun round, not a force buy strat or a pistol round strat. This is a gun round strat. And you would want to do this against a gun round. Uh, before I get too far into it, one mistake that I do see teams making, at least in lower levels, such as like open teams, is that they will do a set execute with smokes and a ton of shit against a force buy. Now, yes, smokes are effective against four spies, but not like a five smoke or a three smoke setup because people who have pistols will play in those smokes and use them to their advantage. They will push through the smokes playing super aggressive because they really have nothing to lose. Um, so you want to play more passive, uh, wait for their pushes on a force buy. But this is a strategy for guns versus guns. And it's going to start off with your player number three throwing a top mid smoke. And the reason this top mid smoke is thrown at the start of the round um, before any other smoke or anybody does anything is to keep the window player honest. If you don't throw a top mid smoke and nobody peeks out top mid within the first 15 seconds, um, the window player is going to get a little antsy. Maybe the connector player is pushed up mid and now the window player can get underpass control which will completely fuck the strat because we need somebody coming up underpass to pinch into connector. So besides that top mid smoke, everything else is going to be a little bit slower. You're going to have two people go towards A. Um, I would suggest both going out ramp, but you can play one palace, one ramp. It is completely up to you. Um, two people are going to be going top mid and then one person underpass. Now the A players, you're going to have one player get up on here. And instead of throwing a normal jungle smoke, which is lined up, you get in the middle of this. And this white line, you follow it up, and you throw it like that. And instead of throwing a traditional jungle smoke, there's a small divot here, um, about like an inch over, well, centimeter on the actual screen, depending on your resolution. That's a horrible way to look at it. But there's a line here, a vertical line, that if you throw it there, instead of it landing jungle, it bounces off this wall and lands deeper jungle. And this allows players who are walking up through connector to be able to see onto site while not having to worry about jungle. Obviously, if there's an op here, he might be able to hit you, um, but it's unlikely. And you can adjust the smoke. It's completely worth the risk. So here would be an adjusted smoke. If you throw it a little bit higher, it might land a little bit better. Let's see. It still has to bounce off that. Okay, so it didn't bounce off that. Yeah. So you don't want to throw it too high. You need it to bounce off of top stairs. As you can see, we barely missed it. Um, but that smoke effectively smokes off deep connector for the opper, um, who is now completely smoked off, and you are able to enter your site with your two other buddies. Now the other person ramp is going to be throwing a CT smoke, and I will not mess this up this time around. Um, so <laughs> I second-guessed myself right there. Um... In my previous video, I did fuck up the CT smoke quite a few times. But, this smoke's off CT, so effectively you're going to have a jungle smoke and a CT smoke. And this allows top stairs to be open. That's the only default smoke that's missing. But if you have people walking in through connector, um, they should be able to clear stairs. There's no reason to have a top stairs smoke because there would be nobody up there. And if there is, they're getting fragged. Okay? It's more of like, it even can count as like a bait for them to peek because there's smoke, no smoke down. Um, it could be a bait, but they most likely know that there's people mid. So these two people on A are playing off of their mid teammates. So these smokes are going to be thrown once this cat smoke is thrown. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to go out over each independent roll because everybody's really working together. So there's going to be a player going underpass on the T side. Okay. Um, he's gonna give up the info that he's like running downstairs. It doesn't really matter, but once you get to here, you're gonna want to walk um, just so the CTs don't know that you're obviously under window, but they can call, hey, there's one underpass. Um, he might be going back up apps. We don't know. We're not sure. We don't hear the steps. A pop flash that is very simple, very rudimentary. It's just an underhand throw, and you throw it while you're running. That obviously did not work because that's not usually the angle but so if you're running down the steps you can throw it it's gonna bounce out flash everybody underpass um, very easy to throw there's no really real lineup to it again just one more time just to show the simplicity of it 
you can even wait a second before you throw it because it can it will bounce off this back wall and then bounce into uh, underpass. So once you get underpass, you're gonna wait a little bit. You're gonna wait for a top well, uh, window smoke to come in. And once that window smoke comes in, you're not gonna peek connector because there can be anybody from here to here to down under. Um, you're not gonna peek connector and you're just gonna smoke cat off. Okay, very simple. Once that cat smoke gets thrown, that is the cue for the two players on A to throw their smokes, okay? Once those smokes pop on A, as the underpass player, um, you're gonna want to clear out under well, uh, clear out connector and entry onto site. Remember, jungle is gonna be smoked off. CT is gonna smoke be smoked off, um, and this is also when the two ramp players can push out. So once you have a player in connector, the ramp players need to push out. So A is effectively being pinched. Now the two people that are top mid, one of them has already used their smoke at the start of the round to smoke top mid, buy them a little time. He can even get up close um, just to hold for a push, just to really like wait here, make sure the CTs aren't doing some super aggressive push. Um, while the other person is throwing a window smoke. And this window smoke will be thrown once the um, underpass player is in position and the two A players are in position. So this one lands a bit more um, reliably on 128 tick servers. So that would be a community matchmaking, not official matchmaking, but community matchmaking, um, face it or ESCA server. I'm not too sure about a 64 tick one, but so you're gonna line up on this cross here and we're gonna be crouch walking until our crosshair hits this metal bar and then a jump throw. So crouch, walk, metal bar, jump throw. And this will smoke window off. Once window is smoked off, that means that the underpass player throws his smoke to cat. And then the person who um, threw the smoke, as soon as they throw the smoke, they're going to be running towards top mid to help the person who's sitting top mid and the underpass player get into connector. Cat will be smoked off, so all you really have to do is worry about a connector player. And of course, this is all happening while you have two people running out A, ready to frag anybody. Um, you want the bomb carrier to be the second entry in A ramp. So the first entry would be the person throwing the jungle smoke, and the second entry would be the person throwing the CT smoke. That is because the first entry smoke is closer to where they're actually entering, and the second smoke is further away. Um, so it's more of a staggered and you don't have to, hey, hold on, I'll wait, you get in front of me. Um, everybody's already set up and lined up. Um, obviously, if the guy underpass who runs up connector frags out the two people mid, um, one can get connector control, the other one can play rotates, so they can hold a deep rotate. So if you're top mid and you already have connector control, you can stay here, um, wait for somebody to cross. Um, or you could even get up on cat, which is a very powerful position, and depending on where you plant it on a site, you can even um, play here post plant and stop a defusal. But that pretty much wraps it up. It's a simplistic strat, even though it does uh, require five smokes. It's, all right, it's not too simplistic. It does require a bit more team cohesion. I would not suggest running this in a matchmaking or solo queue game. This is more of a um, team strategy because it requires a lot more cohesion and timings and knowing when things are happening. I would practice this before you actually run it in an um, in a official match or even a scrim. Um, so that wraps it up. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.